Let's get my next guest out. They're waiting on the bench, eager to get a piece of the action. It's the first time, I think, they've ever been interviewed on a show together. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome Jamie and Louise Redknapp? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right in thinking this is the first time you guys have done a TV interview together? Yes, pretty much. Yes, first time on a talk show as well. Really? What, for for both, me. For you? For me, yeah. Why have you not been on one before? No, I think when you play football you don't tend to to do them as much, but it's, it's obviously a real honour. We did League of Their Own a few weeks ago I together. Had a great got to know each well, that's other. why I wanted you to come on. I enjoyed working with you, but you say great. when you're playing football, but you spent probably more time not playing than playing, am I right? <laughs> so there must have been time for you to do other stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I think in that spare time, I mean, that was when you, I did more football sort of punditry and things yeah, like that yeah. and just looked at the future because 31 years of age, you retire. It, it, it's quite a big deal. And you look and you think it's a big wide world. All I've ever known was football. Yeah. And you think, what am I going to do now? You know, and it was, um, it was quite difficult. And, and what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> hey, um, but you guys have been married, how long is it, 16 years now? Yeah, 16 yeah. in June. Well, that's incredible. Congratulations. Mm. That's a lovely thing. <laughs> Unusual. Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be, but it kind of is. Um, how did you meet? Is it you met at a concert? Not, not one of your concerts, but it was a concert. It was. Yeah, well, yeah. well um, at the time, Eternal were touring would Take That. And um, Robbie Williams kept on saying to me, you've got to come and meet my mate. You've got to meet him, he wants to meet you. He's seen magazines. And um, I went down and Jamie and sort of Robbie and that were just playing ball and that's how we met. I'd, obviously, I'd always seen Louise in different magazines and I thought, yeah, I like that. I really like her. But unfortunately, she had a boyfriend at <laughs> the time. Is that how footballers <laughs> choose wives? It's like a <laughs> <laughs> They have a pile up, they rip out pages and say, it's going to be one of them. <laughs> Do you know what? It's... I'm going to Milan. When I come back, get a couple of them lined up. I'll give them a trial. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was a bit like that, because when you're, when you're a player, you, you very often you have sort of football magazines and you say your favourite film, yeah. favourite actor, yeah. favourite pop star. Yeah. And they would always just say Louise. And was it because... Oh. Did you actually like the music of Eternal? Was Massive it just, fan. Did you, <laughs> you yeah. liar, like, look like, at Yeah, was, uh, what was the one, though? What was the... Actually, what was, what was one of your songs? songs. <laughs> no, lots of them, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't think you were a fan, were you? Of course I was, yeah. Oh, I loved Eternal. He's got to say that. You've got two boys. <laughs> yes. Right, OK, uh, so two boys. <laughs> Would you have liked a girl as well? Was that something... I mean, because having boys is lovely, I'm sure. But they're, yeah. they're as football mad as, as Jamie think, and yeah. Harry, aren't they? Yeah, they, they're completely into their football and, and it's really cliche, but for me to have two children, I am so incredibly grateful. Um, but at the same time, it's not now that I think, because the boys are fab and they go off to football and I have my bit of time, but I know how close I am to my mum. And I just think, am I going to not have that in yeah. years to come? Like, I don't know, there's that mum and daughter thing. <laughs> but I know I'll be close with the boys and I'll make an effort to always, you know, be part of their wife's lives and that. And do they let you... Are you allowed to dress them? Are you allowed to kind of, like, take them out of their comfort zone? And, oh, and... Football kits. That's it. Honestly. And I, I've, there's so many nice clothes for kids out there. And they get up, they choose their own football kit. I'm not even allowed to get involved in, like, matching colours with tracksuits. <laughs> I mean, they, they literally get themselves dressed. Football kits. We can be in the best restaurant in the world, can't we? And they yeah, wear football yeah, kits. Yeah, they do love I love it, though. When you're away, you can always tell a British family abroad because there'll be a couple <laughs> exactly. of kids turning behind them. Oh, we are so, yeah, we are so we British are abroad. Yeah. Very chabby, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we go we, when we York in the summer and they'll, you know, we... People like looking quite smart, and then the kids just come along in <laughs> QPR kits or Liverpool kits, you know. It's not and they wear look. football boots as well. <laughs> <laughs> they, we, they wear the football boots out. Um, let me ask, can I ask you about your dad, Jamie? Of course. Okay, because we all know Harry Redknapp, okay? Anytime the, the uh, England managership comes up, his name is his hat's thrown in the ring, and people yeah. think, okay, he's going to get it this time. Uh, and he's never actually been offered it properly, has no. he? Is that because he is seen as too controversial by the FA, do you think? Because I think yeah, there was a kind of groundswell of public opinion that he would be good. Mm. I think there was genuinely a lot of people wanted to see him in the job. Yeah, well, I think it was after last year, really. I think once... Um, it's been incredible, probably eight months for my dad, because from having the court case, which is very traumatic for the whole family, then obviously that went well. Um, then Fabio Capello, it was that evening, actually. We were out for dinner, sort of celebrating, obviously, the verdict. And uh, then Fabio Capello resigned. And then we thought, well probably by the end of the season, he'll be the England manager. And that was everybody, I think, the public wanted him to be the manager. Um, he's very honest, my dad. When people would ask him if he should be the manager, he was like, yes, OK, of course I'd love to manage my country. Anybody would. But I think people misconstrued that as him pushing himself for the job, which he never once did. And then they decided to give it to Roy Hodgson, 
which was, listen, fair enough, Roy's a, Roy's a nice guy and he's, he's obviously a very good manager, but I personally felt he should have got the job. I think he'd have done a great job. I think people like him. He's, as, as a, listen, I can speak from working with him. He well, was my yeah, manager, were, yeah. And also, obviously, when you were a kid, I'm assuming you knew him then. I've known um, him all my life. So, yeah. <laughs> but, but, you, but even as a kid, he was your manager, wasn't he? I mean, Absolutely, you worked with him. Yeah. So, so that must... But was that difficult for you, though, with the other players knowing, you know, he's your dad? It was difficult because I was sort of 16... 16 years, that's a lovely picture there, with Charlie. Look at that, though. Aww. Yeah, that was when they won the FA Cup. Uh, no, it was difficult, because sometimes you'd be in a dressing room environment and, and the players would be talking about my dad, sort of slagging him off, because sadly one person's not happy and he's not playing. And I'd walk in and they'd all sort of stop talking. Yeah. So that wasn't easy. Then I'd just join in and give him a stick as well. <laughs> <laughs> but Louise, you've just, you've just named something after Harry, haven't you? Um, yeah, um, I've recently bought out a new makeup brand. Um, we, we decided to name all the products after family, pets, you know, anybody that meant something. Okay. Um, and Harry was a uh, varnish. <laughs> so you named one of the nail varnishes after Harry? Yeah, I don't, I, I just kind of the way it all came, we were just sort of like delegating names with colours and Harry was a kind of nudie nail varnish. I don't even know if he knows he's a nudie nail varnish, actually. Well, I think, I think in that photograph, someone's just told him, I think, possibly. But, <laughs> so is it the same colour as his face, the nail varnish? Maybe similar, oh, like very nudie. Uh, have you told him? No, but, what, but I'm a toenail varnish as well, aren't I? No, not a toenail varnish. Normal nail varnish goes on your toes and your fingers. <laughs> yes. I thought toes were... were separate. Uh, separate. Yeah. No, you would have thought. We could have thought. That's it. We should have thought you needed a, a heavier grade of varnish for your toes. They come in from there. And so, but you two, um, you you work together occasionally, but I guess not all the time. And, but you seem you seem to enjoy working together. Am I right? Is that something? Because um, yeah, we don't do loads. But what we've done, it's it's been nice. Like say, for example, they said we want someone to go on holiday and play topless golf. <laughs> They would, they it, would, no, they if you would start, you. you'll never forgive me what? about this, cos I get oh, no. the blame for that shot. OK, so this was an advert. We won't mention it, but did you see the adverts they did for a very well-placed holiday company? And you did get some stick for this, didn't you? Oh, loads. Bundles. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the shot, I think. This is what, it was the topless golf shot, and you're like... Oh, no. That's the... But honestly... That what, was but, my fault. That is your fault. It was I've my got fault. Got this How is it your fault? What, you hid his shirt or something? <laughs> How is it your fault? Oh, no, don't even... You know, he was moaning about doing it, and oh, you know what it's like? All, everybody's there on the set, everyone's going, this is a great idea, it looks really cool and arty. Well, look, and you've got a very good. nice body. No. OK, look at that. Oh, man. no, Let's please get that, that off. <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> yeah, what a prick. Uh, I <laughs> think it looks... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is that what you're calling me for showing you? <laughs> no, that's what I'm calling that's No, what it's I'm calling not. Myself. Look, you were asked to do it, and it's, you know, it, it, it looks glamorous, it looks like a nice Aww, place to be. You yeah, know. it's all right. It's your fault. Do it before yeah. you get a big middle. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you won't be able to. Yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, you're working away on a number of things, yes. OK? And when you've been away busy, though, are you, are you possessive about Jamie? Are you concerned about... Look, he's, <laughs> let's face it, he's a very good-looking man. We've all seen him with his shirt off repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> He used to be a player, he's not so much anymore, but he must get offers. I don't know, do you get offers? No, I don't. <laughs> do you? Oh, what's that face? Uh, are you... <laughs> no, I don't. Are you jealous of Louise at all? Do you kind of Absolutely. Keep I check her phone regularly. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, and rightly so. <laughs> No. I'm glad you gave me that other number then, because that's the main, <laughs> one. That's the main one. I always tell him I delete all the good ones. I always, yeah. Um, but do you do that? Do you ever text and check his phone? Oh, all the time. <laughs> Sometimes for different things, though, like, just, just... Normally, if I'm sort of boiling something in the kitchen and it's there, I would just have a little flick through. Yeah, boil it, <laughs> boiling what, a bunny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I lived right into that one. <laughs> Uh, so, um, so, but things probably, I guess, when you think about, you know, a, a footballer's career, you, you've got about as good a career as you could possibly have off football. Would you mm, want to lucky. go back into the game? Would you want to manage? My dad always says to me, you will one day manage. But then he'll ring me up and say, what are you, what are you doing today? Because I'm going to play golf. And he says, now I know why you're not managing. Yeah. And he goes to work and he's got grey hairs and I see him on the, on the sideline pulling his hair out. It's, it's very, very stressful. Yeah. But... One day I'm sure I'll have a go, but because your dad was a good manager, doesn't mean I'm going to be. I probably could get sacked after six months, you know, who knows? <laughs> and do you miss the music business? Do you miss being involved in that? Would you, would you reform if Eternal came back and did another tour? If people want, because you had a very successful solo career after the band as well. Yeah, yeah, they have asked about Eternal getting back together. I haven't spoken to any of the other girls, but I don't know, I don't know if the knee pad days are over. Well, we used to always wear knee pads and big boots. Oh, I keep that quiet, <laughs> <laughs> Um It was great.
great, but I can't see the four of us ever yeah, really yeah, That's nice a bit too much, isn't it? You know, we said we wouldn't talk about the knee pads. I mean, you might as well, if you're going to go down, you might as well be prepared. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm really pleased, because I'd you, met mate. Louise a few times, but I'd never met you, Jamie, properly. Well, once in the street we met. Yeah. Thank you. And I tell you what, I'm glad I had my knee pads with me. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, anyway, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so thank much for coming so on. Thank you, Jamie, and thank you, Louise. Join me after the break when Yoko Ono will be here and we've still got our music to come. Don't go away.